DIY storage with old frames. If we hold ourselves together, we'll go far. Hey guys, Unif Essentials here. Today's video is going to be on how I'm going to turn thrift store frames into a shelving slash storage. Now, I don't know a whole lot about wood and I did not go to school to study woods or anything like that, but this particular wood you use for this frame is very, very strong. I guess back in the day, they actually do a lot of quality versus now that all the kind of frames you see in the store are flimsy. This frames are really, really strong. So I'll be using it to make some sort of shelving slash storage. Now, this is a requested video and the person that requested it wanted a farmhouse theme that's going to have a little bit of glam. This is definitely going to be a little bit out of my comfort zone only because I am not used to farmhouse themes, but let's see how it goes. Now, I'm going to be using chicken wires and of course I protected my hands before starting this project with the wires. I'm going to be attaching the wires to the frame using a staple gun. I'll be using a sheer scissors to cut the wires to size. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Because I'm going to be joining wires together, I'm going to make sure that I locate exactly where the join is going to correlate with the other ones that I had already installed. I changed my staple gun during the process. Now, if you guys notice, this is an old video that I had made a long time ago. Now, I was hesitant to post it, but I just summoned courage within me and said, okay, I'm just going to post it anyway because it's different and it's a requested video, which I had already done. So why not just post it already? <laughs> I'm going to be using different pieces of wood and adding it to what I have here to make shelving slash storage. I'll be adding more wires by the sides.
When I was done, I took this out and I spray painted it gold. And to add a little bit of glam to what I have here, I'm going to be gluing on gems. Not to the entire holes, but some of the holes are going to be having gems on them at the back and by the sides. Based on the request, the lady loves farmhouse and also a little bit of glam. So I'm having these together to see how they balance each other out. I'll be making shelvings using hot cardboard covered with reflective paper. I'm going to attach a decorative only at the top. I got this from five below and that's what I'm going to be attaching at the top. The open top is going to be covered with plastic sheets that I'm going to be spray painting gold. I'm going to be covering the open spaces that I have here at the back. So I'm going to put this down on a board and measure the exact shape that I need to cover the back. I added more decorative onlys to the design. I'm going to be attaching legs under what I just made. Now this is a cute shelving idea for anyone who has the love for farmhouse theme and a little bit of glam as well. Like I said earlier, this is a little bit different from what I'm used to, but I'm actually glad that I attempted it and finally posted the video. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families who are farmhouse themed lovers who also love a little bit of glam here and there because they just might like it. Thank you all so much for watching. I have the home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.